Oh, we do all sorts of things. For example, last Saturday we did a cleanup in Valdosta at Joe Reed Mill Pond and also at Sugar Creek down behind the Salty Snapper. And it was bad. I mean, the mill pond, uh, it wasn't too bad. Four people got most of it by going around the mill pond, Sugar Creek. We had seven people in one location spending two hours, and we even took our official vessel, the Swanee Riverkeeper Canoe, to pile the trash in to pull it out. We put, did it, took it in there twice in addition to what everybody else was taking out. So that's a big problem. Uh, if you've gone 100 feet farther down, there's another place just like that. Something's got to be done. What? And how does that trash get there? Well, the way it gets there, mostly in that particular case, is it comes down Two Mile Branch from all those restaurants on Ashley Street. Now, some of it comes down Sugar Creek from the restaurants on uh, Bay Tree. So there, there is a solution to keep it from getting that far down. There is what's called a trash trap over on the far end of Bay Tree above, there's a little lake that most people don't know about, way over at the far end of Bay Tree. And it's a trash trap. It stops the trap, and then it stops the trash, and the city comes and cleans it out. Now that's like the Cadillac of trash traps. It's built in concrete, and you really need a big truck. Mm -hmm. There's much simpler models now that the people can just pick up and carry. So if you put one of those at uh, Berkeley Drive above the mill pond, that stopped most of that. And if you put one of those, uh, there's a couple of places on Sugar Creek that you could put them and you'd probably stop most of it. But it doesn't completely solve the problem though.